Hello, this is Mr. Beck. This is uh, part seven, the final video in uh, creating our monster head in Blender 2.5. What we've got here is a bug-eyed monstrosity that uh, rocks back and forth in time if we hit Alt-A. Okay, you can see that it moves in time and the hair is flying around and we've got a camera moving around. You should have uh, stars in the background and everything should be set up. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we have our lighting set and then we're going to render it out to a series of still images. Uh, because what I want to do is I want to be able to work with those still images uh, in Adobe Premiere. Okay, so uh, in this case we'll create a, a whole series of PNG files at the end. First step is to make sure, though, that we're lighted well. I'm going to come down here, and I'm just going to jump out to some random frames. Ra uh, frame 45, okay? And you can see that this is what the camera sees at frame 45. And I'm going to go choose Render Image. Now, you can see at frame 45, we've got, uh, we've got a light that's above the head, but the bottom half is eclipsed right now. We really want good lighting on the model, okay? So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to hit... Um, Shift S, and I'm going to snap the cursor to the model, and then I'm going to put the cursor down underneath it, maybe about here, let's say. And then I'm going to choose um, Add Lamp, and I'll go ahead and I'll add just a point light for starters just to see what happens. And you can configure over here on the right all the properties. You can make it a sun or a spotlight or hemisphere area or whatever you need. Um, I'll change the color uh, just for fun, something like that. Let's go render image now and just see what happens. Now you can see that that light, you can see the color there sort of shows up. We've managed to get it lighted there so that now we can see and it's no longer eclipsed. So that's good. Um, let me go ahead and jump out to uh, frame, say, 120. All right. And let's go to render image and just see if we still have any problems. Looks good. It looks like on the bottom, though, there is some shadow. And that's okay. We can live with it. But once again, you know, Go ahead and just make sure that you've got light in the right places. I'm um, going to put cursor to selection, and I'll, I'll just add another light down there. I figure it probably can't hurt. You never know. Um, add lamp point, let's say. And I'll change the color to uh, maybe a, a blue. See what happens. Let's go render image now and see what happens. And you can see that blue sort of illuminating the different parts. So light you know, plays a, a role here that can, that can be kind of neat. Um, okay, great. So um, I've gone around the model, and I've sort of verified that it's not too dark, and I've added lamps uh, around there. Okay. It is now time to render this image, render this movie. Okay. So um, I'm going to come up here to the very top. All right. And you've got the, um, the camera. That's our render. Uh, those are our render tools. Okay. And uh, we just need to change a couple of things. Down here at the bottom, it's going to render where it says PNG, okay? You've got a series of different options you could choose. Um, you could render it out as an AVI. You can do a, a bunch of uh, just a ton of options. But we're going to make a PNG sequence for now. Um, so I'm going to leave it at PNG, okay? And we need to tell it where to put this. Now, right now, it's going to put it just right in the TMP directory um, on Linux. But let's, let's do this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click here. Now, everybody in this room has a directory. I'm going to click the up arrow, okay? And in here, I'm going to click to the home button, and I'm going to choose the folder, okay, KSAT. All right, so inside of KSAT now, you, you may have a video for yourself. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create one, though, by choosing the button that says create new directory. All right, it's right there. Uh, and let's go ahead and I'll call this uh, create new directory and let's say OK. It's not letting me because I'm not logged in that way. So um, that's cool. Um, I'm actually logged in here, so I'll do it here. I'll go create new directory. And uh, it shows up down here and it will for you. And I'm going to call this Beck, your last name, underscore, monster, underscore, render. Okay, so inside of your home KSAT directory now, you have a folder called your last name underscore monster underscore render. Okay, so I'll click into that. And uh, for the name of the file, I'll just go ahead and call it PIC, P-I-C. Okay, real simple. And I'll click accept. All right, now it's going to... Um, 
you know, yeah, it's going to create a series of um, PNGs now. All I have to do is click Render uh, Animation, this button over here on the right, okay? And it's going to go through, and it's going to start producing a series of PNG files here I'll show you. Uh, if I click on my folder now that I just created, Beck Monster Render, you can see that Blender is creating a series of pictures, PIC001, PIC002, PIC003. Um, this is, they're sequentially numbered by frame, and that's going to make it very easy for us to put it into Premiere and create a movie out of these still images, okay? Um, we could create an AVI, but uh, in this case, let's go ahead and render out these PNGs. And after they're finished, you know, you can click on any given one and just sort of see what it looks like. All right, so that's it. And uh, when you're finished, uh, at this point, if you follow the directions, you'll have 250 pictures in this directory. All right, so that's it. You should have your uh, monster project rendered out. And uh, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching.